about makes a play of making to the top versus not making it. Well, it's definitely not. Um, I've, I've been around certain players and I would say that I wasn't the best in my uh, academy group. But I, wasn't the best in the group. I mean, the, 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 the regional. But I'm in the dedication to actually go there and, 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 and train and perform all the time. Um, my, one of my family friends, you might know, you might remember the name, Ian Thompson. Played from England, 15s, 16s, 17s, 18s. Then when he got to the 18s, um, he was, he, if you ask anyone of his, him, of his age, he was the best in the country, his name would come up. When he got to 18s, he plateaued and went down because he never really wanted to put that time in to really go and train and, and, and really master his abilities, his, his art of playing in his position and doing what he does. Um, because he was the junior judge and then it was him, but he never made it. So it's about having that dedication to actually, uh, to actually want to be up there and, and, and having that vision to be up there as well. Um, you look at Cristiano Ronaldo when he first came to Man United, skinny lad, probably trained once a, once, once a day, just normal training and go home for what he did. When he got to Man United he saw the level. You know that I need to step up training outside of the training ground, doing a little bit more with his technique, doing a little bit more with his finishing, doing a little bit more with his heading. Now, tell me who's a better leaper, and better, better leaper than Christopher Ronaldo? He's a winner. But he's a footballer. So it, it's just having that dedication in the craft and, and uh, putting in them extra yards. Anything from the young lads? Anyone? Um, you shy. said that uh, you went, when you went from, well, when you moved to Birmingham, mm -hmm. that, you know, so to speak, you were almost one step ahead, like mentally, like you were a bit slower than you. Would you say that when you moved to Liverpool, that you were the opposite way around, that you had, like... No, no, not to say, I, like I said before, I was playing with them in uh, the national team, so that allowed me to be uh, a parallel, but yeah, it probably would have been that, because it was so quick. Yeah. What about from, like... When you went to, when you first went to the national team, did you find you had oh, to that was catch tough. up? That was tough. When I went, I went in sixteens, so uh, um, and I was the best at the time. So coming up to speed with that, uh, coming off the pitch and you're just dripping with sweat and you're tired. You literally just got to lie down and just sleep. And that was and you're doing two sessions a day with the with the younger with the younger age group. You do two sessions a day. We never did that back at the, the club. So you do two sessions a day every day and. Uh, that was tough, yeah. So in that sense, yeah, definitely going from into the national team, that that was very tough. But you, you soon find your niche, and you, you soon figure it out on, on, on in the way you are. Well, you, you know, you've gone through your journey from old school football mm -hmm. to modern day football. Um, the lads that you've probably played with at Leicester, like Walshie and. You might have left people like that. They wouldn't let you probably get away with things at mm -hmm. the age that you were at. Mm -hmm. um, now football's changed, social media, etc. You were able to probably handle your moves to Liverpool and that better because of the ground that you had there. What advice would you give young lads now that sort of get praise, maybe you know, with social media mm -hmm. it can be easily you know blown out of proportion, and then we see a lot of them fall out of the game because of that. <coughs> well, coaches. Coaches um, have a big say on that as well. They need to give them a certain grounding. Parents, like I said, I can get away with this certain stuff that they do. Um, as well as the player understanding where they are at the time. I understand that you're going to get praise and you're going to get this and people telling you, what you want and telling you this and telling you that. But I'll tell you now, going into Liverpool, there could be tens of players better than you. How do you actually figure out how to get better than them? And the player needs to be mentally tuned in, not thinking about this big up who are. How did you deal with finishing football? Uh, not good. Um, hadn't planned, uh, even though I was 38 at the time, I hadn't planned. <coughs> Being at home all the time is not good, but not easy. I would say it's not good. Not like that. <laughs> but it's not easy. But um, I would say I would say for the likes of the, all the younger lads, 
I wouldn't say focus on it, but have it in the back of your mind that even if you're doing coaching or whatever you're doing, the amount of time you just have off, the amount of time I have off, I should have my pro license, I should have everything, and then you can just see, yeah, it might not be me, but at least I can say, at least I can, say I can try it. Because everyone will say, oh, mm, you haven't got, your, um, you haven't got your, your, your badges and all that. Football's a strange, strange industry. I can play 21 years in football, and they can tell me I have no experience. You could do 21 years in, in plumbing and you could be the best. You could do 21 years in football and they could tell me I know nothing. Which is weird for me, but you've got to go and get your badge. If, 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 even if it's not, even if it's something that you're not going to do, at least you've got it there and they can't tell you anything. Then you can try and move into different like, aspects. But the people are more wise, uh, are more wise to it now than, uh, than before where, you, where they tell you don't concentrate on anything. Just, Wait till you finish and then go and get your budget. But yeah, wait till you finish go and get your budget. It's three years to get your budget.